And still, I begged her, I begged her that I'm ready to do whatever she asks me to do to make her mine. I promise to do whatever she asks me to do. Even until Jesus Christ come, I'll continue to do whatever she wants me to do. She gave me some conditions which due to love I need to because I wanted that so badly, I had to see to that to that conditions. Though we were given beating soap at night, there's a particular time we are asked to we have to we are we are asked to bait at night within the hour of uh, eleven PM to one AM. There's a black soap that was given to me and the water after baiting with it we are going to throw the water into the river what's up guys is a girl on a baby so guys today i have a man here by my side he contacted me there is this thing that happened to him he did something out of love guys and now he don't know what to do things they happen no or should i even say <laughs> Let me not talk, guys. Just help me watch this video. He needs our advice, and you have to, you will learn a lot in this video, guys. All right, so I don't mention your name. Just go straight to your story. Like I told you, just feel free, relax. Say your story the way it is. That's the only way people will advise you. Okay. Hello, guys. I love. I really taught me a lesson, and I don't know if. I I really beg for your advice. I met a lady, a beautiful lady, an intelligent, beautiful, uh, gorgeous woman on the social media, Facebook precisely. So we we're getting along. She is really my spec, my kind of woman, my dream woman. I chatted her up and we get along and things were moving fine. I invited her over I, for a date, and she said she, she's not interested in any relationship. I keep on pestering her over the relationship with you. She said she cannot, for now, she's not, in, she's not interested in any relationship for now, based on some conditions and based on her past experiences. I was shocked. I keep disturbing her severally, sending her messages, sending her gifts, going to her day by day, pestering her. Even my friends, I have issues with my friends. Even my friends were complaining. What do you, what exactly do you see in this lady? I beg, leave her alone. Let her be. When she gets to 30, 35, even 35, 36 years, her eye go clear. And at that time, they go begin the, the rush. I ignore their message. I know friends can say a lot of things. And at the end of the day, they will be the one to still judge you. I went behind because I still have that belief and that faith that truly this girl must be mine. I went ahead, summoned the courage, I still continue to disturb her for her to be mine. She told me for now she doesn't want any relationship, even she's not sure she will ever get married again. I She invited me and she told me there are certain things she had to let me know about her past. And truly, if she can see still to my proposal. I went on and on, and she invited me. We went together, and we were talking. And she told me what really happened to her seven-year relationship and why she's not into anyone up till now. She told me her last relationship, ended abruptly when his last his ex abandoned her telling her that she she after suffering and facing a lot after all challenges together both of them had issues and they have to the, the, the guy the ex has to impregnate another girl you know leaving her aside and she told me she has vowed not to go into any relationship either in this age or forever and nothing would change that for me to convince her that i'm not that kind of guy and such thing will never happen and i will not do that i will never hurt her in my life i told her everything and still she still refused to seek to my own advice she said she cannot be mine that that is what all men do 
and she can never trust any guy again. I keep on disturbing her day by day, sending her gifts, sending her messages, talking to her, going beyond, beyond what she could not even imagine. Still, she's not still uh, ceding to my uh, analysis. I invited her over to my place. We spend the night together. I care for her. She she she, she enjoyed herself. And still, I begged her, I begged her that I'm ready to do whatever she asked me to do to make her mine. She told me if truly I wanted to be hers, I, I, wanted, I wanted to be hers, these are the things I need to do. I promise to do whatever she asks me to do, even until Jesus Christ comes, I'll continue to do whatever she wants me to do. She gave me some conditions, which due to love, I need to, because I wanted that so badly, I had to see to that, to that conditions. She told me I need to take a secret hope with her that entails my life, and I need to live my life for her, until do all part that I will never leave her. I told her I'm ready to do whatever she wants me to do, even to even though it take it, it involves taking keeping my life for her, and I'll, I'm going to do by it. I'm, I'll go by what she wants. She told me there's no problem that, and she, after that hood, the hood involved taking off, and and I have to go with her on a journey. To an unknown land, a very distant land. I need to go with her on a journey to an unknown land for us to take that out. And it's a secret journey. I was initially I was scared. I was skeptical about it. I was so scared. I said, ah, what kind of condition is this? Just all because I don't want to lose her, I need to go to that journey with her. We pick a date for the journey and we 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 embark on the journey successfully. I was scared. It was around that very close to Badagri. That was the location for the journey. I really don't know the the area, but I know it's very close to Badagri, out of Lagos. So we took that together, and there's no going back. When it turns, when when there's no going back on on such. Just because I believe we can start a life together and we things will be better off through my belief. And I wanted her as much as possible, the mother of my kids, and we grow all together. So I went ahead with the hood, we took the hood with the covenant and other sacrificial uh, things were done. Though we were given Beating soup at night. There's a particular time we are asked to, we have to, we are we are asked to bait at night within the hour of uh, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. There's a black soup that was given to me, and the water after beating with it, we are going to throw the water into the river. So subsequently, we have to do that every seven seven days. But starting from that moment of that. Hood, very close to Badagri. I had that first bit with her. We we were married finally after we are back from the uh, journey. After the journey, after we came back from the journey, she now allowed me access to her. We had our marriage introduction. We had our marriage. Uh, we had our wedding together and everything went well accordingly, family by family. So along the line, we started living together as husband and wife. Year by year gone, she couldn't take in. And I was beginning to wonder why such a delay in our, of her being fruitful, giving me a child. So I thought it was a medical condition, which I went for a medical uh, exam, exam, uh, examination. The doctor diagnosed and said, 
I'm, I'm, I'm medically fit. Same with her, she's medically fit. So we were, we were going, getting along, and at the, along the line, she was not taking in again. I was born with her. Is it not? Am I not sure that is that uh, the the problem? Am I not sure that the problem must have been from the journey or the spiritual stuff or something like that? So I was imagining within me. I didn't, didn't tell her because if you tell her such a thing, it might result to another thing. So I had to thought it wise that I hope it's not from that spiritual stuff we went for that is causing the delay between our childbearing. So I was, I was being bothered you know, day in and day out and having a woman that is not uh, giving me a child. And by now, at least, she should, be in, she should be pregnant by now and at least either have a child or, or more, or two or one or two. So suddenly she, she fell ill. You know, she, the other time she complained of waist pain. We thought it was a normal malaria, you know, joint issue. And later on, we she went for checkup and she was given a normal uh, pain relief uh, medicine. So the other time, she the other day, after some while, she could start complaining again of another issue again, which I was beginning to see it as something else. So I called her and asked her that, are you sure what we, the journey we went for, are you sure it's not the one that is bringing all this issue? She said, no, that she's not sure, it cannot be. This is a normal, natural pain, uh, health issue. It's okay, there's no problem. So not quite long, she felt ill, seriously ill, and all efforts to make her feel fine went the other way around. And at the end of the day, she, she passed on. So when she passed on, I was shocked. I was, I, was, I was down totally. I know my life has turned upside down. I know everything has turned dark. And I began to look for a way out. The, the lady in question is, is gone now. And what will become of me? Now I'm alone, and how will I go about it? And after some months and some years, I, after mourning her, I decided to settle down again because I cannot be single forever. I met another woman, and uh, we, we get along again. But suddenly the lady called me and told me, do I, do I, do I have... Am I married or something like that? I was shocked that why is she asking me such question that uh, I have a wife that I'm married and that uh, she's not interested and she cannot double date or she cannot come in between me and my wife. I told I told her I'm not married. I was once married and my wife is late and I'm not married. I'm I'm single and. I'm not married to anybody. She, she, she keeps insisting that I'm married. That I'm, I'm married and she doesn't want issues and she doesn't want problems. That I should go back and stay with my wife and stay. So I, was, I thought it was a joke and I thought it was a normal thing. Maybe she's, she's just... So she went away. When I called her, she keep ignoring me and she blocked me totally. I forgot about that. I met another lady again along the line. And it was the same story, telling me I'm married, that why will a married man be chasing after another thing, and that she cannot go, she cannot come for me, that I should, you know. So I was shocked, I said, ah, what is going on? What is really going on? And what, what is this problem? And my family, didn't, they are not aware of this. Even my mom, I'm the only son of my family. I'm the male first male child. I'm the only son of my parents. And the pressure is really telling on me to, to get settled down, to settle down. I start bearing grandchild for my mom. My mom is, my mom is, is, is uh, she's old and she's of age. And 
you know what is expected from a, a first child and uh, the head the, the head to the family somebody carrying the family name you know by now i should be having i should have i should have three or four kids by now if going by the normal circumstances way but you know i cannot tell her that this is exactly what i i'm done in the past or this is the root or this uh, the first step i've taken concerning love issue and I don't really know what, who to run to or who to explain my story to. And all these ladies I've been, been meeting, they keep on telling me I'm married, I have a woman, I have this, I have that. And they are really leaving me behind. And I don't really know what to do and the step to take. That was why I, I seek for advice. All right, guys, um, you people had his love story trying to prove his love to his woman. The lady said she, um, he has to follow him. He has to follow her to one place, which he don't know. Do you know the place before? Actually, I don't know the place. Can you go there now again? I really don't know the route to the place. But you say it's in Bado. You, can, you can't go there. close to, it's outside the state, but uh, outside Lagos state. But Badagri, it has a boundary between Badagri and oh. Koton or something like that. So I didn't really know So you can't even go back and tell the person that this lady that they met you and her together. Like, it's like they, they, they just tied two of you together now. Exactly. There's a calabash in a red, uh, red soap. In the mm. But I was backing the calabash. You know, I, I, I was backing the baba. Both of us were backing the baba. We are backing each other in between. So... Mm. There's a calabash that we must not see. So after tying the red, there's a red, uh, uh, what was it called? Red rope tied to uh, an image, mm. uh, a male and a female image. So I was meant not to turn my back to see those things because that person might go blind. So these are the conditions. So when, when I was backing them, so not knowing, it, and immediately they tied it and they gave us the... I, I drank part of the and she drank part of the and the calabash was taken away by the baba. So before we were asked to turn back again, so on. So I really don't get the environment properly. I was not looking, so I didn't get the environment. It was a desert environment, hmm. you know, the forestry environment. Okay. So it's in between the, the, the boundary between Kotono and the Badagri, and there's a river. So, and I had a, a white bat, a white bait, you know, immediately the white bait. They gave me a black soap and I had a white bat. What is white bat? A white bat is uh, with uh, a white cloth. Okay. We wore something like a white cloth, you know, both of us. So you can't locate the place I again. can never locate the place. Because I don't that's know. where you will go and tell them that the lady is no more, that you need separation from her. Exactly. So you'll be able to get married to another woman. Exactly. That is. And you cannot locate there. I cannot locate. I don't even know. I only know from the beginning that we are in Badagri. There's a boundary. Okay. But way forward from that point, inside the. Okay. Boat, she she took you the place. You don't know the place at all. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know. I really don't know the place. Mm. Okay, guys, you have heard him. If you have any advice for him, please kindly drop it for him on the comment section or suggestion. I believe all of you heard what he said now. Out of love that he wants to prove to his woman that he loves her so much and he's not ready to leave her. He's ready to be there for her. That's what made him to go and prove. On the process of proving, the girl come by now and the girl never even born for him after the after the girl by he has tried to you know have something to do with another woman the 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 particular lady will go and warn them that he is a married man he will be surprised how come after that first relationship end he got to another lady they started talking again the same lady complained the same thing the first lady complained. And the, the parent did not know about this. So it's only between him and that lady. So now he's asking us for solution on how to come out from this. It's a very big, serious something. Mm -hmm. 
people should don't go don't go into anything or to prove anything again it's a very big advice you will regret it because you don't know anything can happen at any time if you tell the person i love you i'm ready to be with you if no if the person no believe kukuma leave that person and you will see a woman or a man that will love you and believe you instead of going into something like this and at last you are regretting it now I pray that God sees you through and provides solution on how you're going to come out from this. Then be free to get married to another woman that will give you children. Amen. She, she know that kind of place. She not go there to hold that her first boyfriend that disappointed her for seven years. She didn't. She, she did didn't. not. She didn't just because I was too desperate to... That was, I was too desperate to have her okay. at all costs. That was why I went ahead. And my friend, they warned me. My friends warned me. You know, a lot of them warned me. You what, really what love her. You want, want to prove it her. to her. Yes, I wanted to go. But I was not thinking that anything to anything will happen to her or she will suddenly. But okay. I believe we will grow old together and have children and things will go like that forever and ever. Mm. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please help me to share this video. Um, if you have any solution, don't forget to drop it for him on the comment section. He needs our advice. Before this man will, will come here, just know that he don't know what else to do again. That's the reason why he ran to us. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to share this video, please.